Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we are going to have a quick look at uh, Microsoft uh, Security Center for Office 365 or Microsoft 365 as it's called nowadays. And uh, so if I go here, right, I can navigate through uh, Admin Center on the left side and then go to Show All and select Security Admin Center. And then I get redirected to this URL security.microsoft.com right you see here. Uh, of course, uh, the interesting part that I wanted to address today and to have a short introduction is uh, what's called secure score. And you see my secure score is kind of quite low for now. Uh, I have only 57 out of 234 points achieved. So these dashboards on the uh, right side, you can also navigate to them here on the left side. So this is more focused. And uh, if I click on secure score, I get um, redirected to this specific portal uh, where I see like uh, my company overall secure score, right? Some actions to address and uh, there is a breakdown by category so uh, the security related to identity of users or objects uh, which i have in my tenant also the data protection and the apps it's kind of cool that microsoft has it in three different uh, cloud focused uh, options like identity data and apps uh, and I can also switch here to status and if I look at the status you see um, I can uh, address some things for which I have license this is E5 license by the way so it means it's it's like uh, uh, I have some additional features that uh, normal tenants might not have but um, just so you know if you have a license and the issue needs to be addressed, you will see it here in, in this uh, um, orange color. And to address no license, it's also here risk accepted and completed. So, uh, for example, I have this uh, require multi-factor authentication for admin roles. And if you see here, it's called risk accepted. Uh, and uh, that was a manual step that I actually took just to show you how it uh, looks like and in some cases you know for, for your depending on your security requirements you might have to accept some of the risks uh, when it's like you know it's not too risky but uh, it costs too much at the same time so it's kind of you know you would have to look uh, at this uh, this is a trial tenant so you see my score here is but like really low and uh, there is also a comparison with organizations of a similar size so this is a small tenant like 25 license so uh, organizations small organizations with 25 license overall they have about uh, like twice as high security score implemented uh, I can also check the messages from Microsoft here uh, or then there is some history of, of messages but uh, what I want to look at let's look at this to address actions right if I click so uh, and here now I see this status to address and some really good recommendations that I can take to uh, keep my tenant safe so for example ensure all users can complete MFA so if I click on this one right uh, I can uh, go uh, where do I go here oh if I click on on this uh, action then it shows me the actual things that I can do you have 10, 10 of 10 users that are not registered with MFA and um, then I can manage it in Azure I can share I can also edit status and action plan so, for example, if I click here and then I say risk accepted, it means that, you know, I'm not going to do it or uh, I will postpone it for now. Right? 
and then this action will not uh, appear under to addressed and of course I do not get any points for this because you know if I addressed this issue then I would get nine points and my security score would get get higher and uh, also you see here there is the actual place where I would need to go to address this issue so for each of the points that you need to address you just click you know on this part and then you go to manage and do whatever needs to be done to um, uh, address this of course some of the things are like you know lead to higher risk some lead to lower risk but uh, this is you know in general um, where you where you would start to, to get to the starting point and of course uh, if you uh, you know look uh, here uh, first and the you know most important part would be to look at uh, MFA so multi-factor authentication should be enabled of course then you look at maybe attachments what to do with your attachments how secure you want to go about attachments uh, you could look at phishing parts here right then you can create some sign-in risks policies if you have this included in your license there is a great tool called defender for office 365 that you can enable so um, there are some other parts like uh, labeling and uh, anonymous access things like that so if your security plan you know goes through this uh, parts and have this requirements to be implemented right you just navigate to secure score take some action so for example i sign out an active users in sharepoint online right uh, in order to manage i go here click on manage and then it redirects me to uh, sharepoint portal and i Put the proper check mark i'm not going to show it to you but uh, that's uh, something you know where to start and where to look uh yeah and yeah so that's basically it right then it changes if the uh, thing right if uh, uh planned risk accepted or uh recently updated uh there is also regressed part here since i haven't uh done it in a while then it, it's not looking like uh, right I have zero here to, to uh, plant or risk accepted uh, but yeah that's that's the point you know where you start looking at it uh, update uh, some of these points and your secure score will go higher and of course that uh, uh, influences uh, your general position to make sure that your company is safe and uh, no um, threats uh, can be done from um, hackers so I hope it's been helpful have a wonderful day stay healthy bye bye